Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the store feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next, under the edit, test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the store feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar and then click view all and search store. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you add it to Future, you will see the Future listed in my Future section, where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the Future and you will have options to show Hide the Future, Edit and Customize the Future, Delete the Future, and Move the Future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added Store Future. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the Future. This is your Future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click on the Manage Store button and you'll be redirected to the Store dashboard. From the dashboard, you can perform different functions, including getting app test link, adding products, setting up shipping and payment methods, and others. Now click on products in the sign menu and you'll be redirected to the manage products section. Here you will find all your products once you start adding them. Click on the add product button here to add a new product. Provide the necessary information. Once you are done adding the product details, click on save and here you will see your added product listed. Let's now go to the product attributes section. From this section, you can add and manage the attributes or product properties. By default, the size and color attributes have been added here. If you want, you can add a new product attribute by clicking on the Add New button here. To add an attribute, provide the attribute name and value. Click this plus icon to add multiple attribute values. From here, you can make the attribute mandatory and filterable and also change the status. Once done, click on Save and here you will see the added attribute. Now come into the Product Category section. In this section, you can add and manage categories and subcategories. By default, a category, category has been added that you can manage as per your needs. Click on the Add Category button and provide the required details to add a new category. Similarly, you can add subcategories under Category by clicking the Subcategories count number here or from the Subcategory option under Actions. Now click on product filtering in the sign menu and you'll be redirected to the product filtering section. Here you can enable, disable the filters as per your need and also control the filter elements that will help the customer to find products faster. Now let's go ahead and move on to the product review section. In this section you will find all the reviews posted by the users. Next up is brands. Click on brands in the sign menu and you'll be redirected to the brand section. Now to add a brand, click on the add a brand button here. Then enter the brand name and hit save. Once done, you will see the added brand here. You can check its details. Now let's move ahead and check out the order section. Click orders in the sign menu and you'll be redirected to the store order section. In this section, you will see all the orders placed by the customers. You can manage all the orders and change the status of the order as well as the payment status. Next up is abandoned cart. All the products that have been added by the customers to the shopping cart without completing the purchase will be displayed in the abandoned cart section. Now coming to return request orders. This section lets you manage all the orders that have been returned by the customer. Next up is the cancel request order section. Similar to the return request section, you can manage all the orders that have been canceled by the customers here. Coming to promotions, in this section you can add and manage coupons. Click on the create coupon code button here and provide the necessary details. Once you are done with the changes, click on save and your added coupon will be listed here. Now let's go ahead and check out the settings of the store features. First is general settings. Here you can edit and manage the information about the stores. Next is store settings, which lets you configure the settings for your store feature. Enable disable toggles in this section to configure store settings. Now come into payment settings. Under payment settings, you will find different payment methods based on your selected currency in the general settings. You can set up payment methods as per your needs. Once done, click on save to continue. 
Next is tax settings. Click on the add new tax rule button to add a new tax. Once you're provided the required details, click on save. Next comes shipping settings. Here you can add shipping rule. Now let's go to the miscellaneous tax settings. Similar to the way we added the tax rule and under, under tax settings, you can add and manage miscellaneous taxes from this section. Next up is language settings. Under language settings, you will find all the text alerts and messages being displayed on the store feature. Coming to the CMS page, here you can add terms and conditions and privacy, privacy policy for the store feature. The last section under settings is the banner section. In this section, you can add banners that will be displayed on the home page and category page of the application. Click on the add new banner button here and provide the required details. Once you are done adding the banner details, click on save to continue. Finally, let's move on to reports. Click on reports in the side menu and you'll be redirected to the manage reports section. From here, you can export the product quantity, report and order summary report in the CSV format. Now let's go back and change the layout and color scheme of the store future. Click on this color palette icon to change this future style and color scheme. Select your desired layout from the options. From here you can set the future elements, color, and font size. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this future. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu. Then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.